Hi. Having having a good day, I hope. Hump day on a downhill slide for the weekend. This is about uh, an article I read on uh, Apple News. It was published in Popular Mechanics. It's an article written by Susan Leahy. And the title is, Scientists Believe They've Unlocked Consciousness, and It Connects to the Entire Universe. Hmm. Well, that's pretty interesting. And it connects with uh, what I think art should be doing, because I think artists should be uh, creating works that elicit some kind of uh, feelings or emotional response from the viewer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in my view, uh, art is very connected to spirituality and consciousness and things like that. This article is interesting because it talks about microtubules. It also talks about quantum this and quantum that. So it, the whole time I'm reading it, I'm thinking of the Big Bang Theory, you know, and Sheldon Cooper and things like that. It was just, it was really kind of cool. <laughs> it did all that. But these microtubules are in the brain and they act as pathways or facilitators um, to similar to how plants use chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is, uh, takes the um, energy that they receive from the sun and stores it. So these microtubules are kind of functioning in that same way. Uh, scientists in the past had always thought that uh, you know, consciousness uh, or some of the experiments that they were doing to try and m find consciousness and monitor it were always had to be conducted in cold, sterile environments. And that's why they thought that consciousness was something that people had made up because the brain is not cold and sterile. It's warm and mushy. So, but now it looks like they've discovered that consciousness does exist. Um, and uh, it has to do with like quantum biology and stuff like that. So um, if you get a chance to, uh, to read the article, you really should because it's pretty interesting. Um, but they say that uh, the consciousness in the brain is a wave that connects with the universe. And I've always thought, believed in that, and consciousness, all things are connected, just like rocks and the planets and everything have magnetic fields. <clears throat> so, and plants and animals all have feelings and energy. So I just think that all that energy is kind of connected. And I've always thought so. So this article was really a lot of fun. Let's see what else does it have to say about, oh. Um, hmm. It says that... Uh, their experiment and theory don't tell us what consciousness is, but that might tell us where consciousness lives and the kind of structure in the brain that houses consciousness. Um, that means it's not just an ethereal, disembodied concept. If consciousness is housed somewhere, even if that somewhere is a complicated state space, we can find it. Interesting ending to that article. So, yeah, pretty interesting stuff about consciousness being real. And in my opinion, that's how it's connected to art. So, have a great week.